Jude. What's up? Ah, <laughs> you know, same old. You? <laughs> Funny, I was just thinking about you. So, do I got amazing timing, or are you always thinking about me? You know, I could be cursing your name in my thoughts. Oh, hey. I'm just glad you remember me at all. Cause I got a favor to ask. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. Not in your company. Okay, now that we've blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. All right, then, count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Believe it when I see it. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Sure. What about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay, um... Is this a date? Guess you'll have to find out. We'll have to. See ya, V. Was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look. Jackie gave you these cards, right? Remember when he asked me to help him pick the right deck? Mm-hmm. He picked just the thing for me, too. I feel a real connection to this deck. We could lay out a spread for you now, if you like. Yeah. Why the hell not? Focus on the recent past and what you expect in the future. The chariot. You're ready for change. Ready to seek the truth about yourself. And to help, you'll have... someone from your family? And the, cause behind these monstrous horrors? the sun reversed. You'll meet some obstacles, but they will be temporary. So long as you follow your own judgment. Stick to your chosen path. Strength. Strength of will, discipline, and courage will always be rewarded. But not necessarily at your destination, as the reversed magician shows. Perhaps the path itself is what's important, and will help you overcome your fear? Wanna read my tarot? Sure thing. The Hermit. In solitude, he discovers the truth about himself and the world. From this, he draws strength. His lantern cutting through the darkness. Could be you, or someone who shows you kindness. But watch out. A reversed Hierophant lurks in the darkness. He brings crisis, both in life and authority, rebellion and fanaticism. He is a grave threat. The devil reversed. You will find yourself under the influence of powerful people with unclear motives. Be very careful. The tower. You and everyone around you will experience a great shock. When the tower falls, nothing will be the same again. Nothing at all. Thanks for the heads up, Misty. Oh, watch out. I'm glad you understand. Wanna read my tarot? Sure thing. The Hermit. In solitude, he discovers the truth about himself and the world. From this, he draws strength. 
His lantern cutting through the darkness. Could be you, or someone who shows you kindness. But watch out. A reversed Hierophant lurks in the darkness. He brings crisis, both in life and authority, rebellion and fanaticism. He is a grave threat. A devil reversed. You will find yourself under the influence of powerful people with unclear motives. Be very careful. The tower. You and everyone around you will experience a great shock. When the tower falls, nothing will be the same again. Nothing at all. Thanks for the heads up, Misty. I'll watch out. I'm glad you understand.
V, looking good. You mean, considering the shit we've been through? Well, factor that in and you look fucking amazing. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, I've been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why did we come all the way out here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes woman. What do you say? You in? Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right. Get that booty of yours suited up. Let's get this scroller on you. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. You should see me in my Max Tech uniform. Whoa. Mean you have one? Indeed I do. One in a bet. Still hangs in my closet waiting for the right occasion. Huh. I'm gonna hold you to that. Haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? A bag of rocks? Come on, don't sell yourself short. Water's toxic, that not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. All right, let's do this. Whew, freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. And don't descend too fast. Where are we headed, exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? No, I bother. I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to turn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs. They're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. This is it. Swim over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me. Swim.
Great motion calibrated. Now swim hither. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. I know that. Eddie Sorrentino, only you. Never did go in for sentimental stuff. Got stuck in my head lately, though, that one. All right, that ought to do it. We are now... Synced. Why now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Now grab this and hold on tight. Incredible. What is it? Our very own Atlantis. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? It's important to me. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why is this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time, gear, stars weren't ever aligned. The truth is, the very idea just felt weird. Besides, didn't want to come here alone. Or with some rando. fell off your one and only eatery. Let's see now, your childhood thing. Gob dog from Capitan Caliente with habanero sauce extra hot. Of course, tasted even better when you stole them off the stand. I don't even know anymore. It's hard to separate actual memories from what you want to remember. Well, our brains weren't built with perfect memory. Weird place for a framed picture. No, not much. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. Like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Hockey stick. 
Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Which moves it out for it? Our music of the you. Coming! Coming! And dead meat anyway. 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 Sorry, you gotta go. Sorry, you gotta They're calling. They're calling. They're calling. Here, take this camera. Better off in your hands than sitting here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks. What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. We still have her picture, but, you know... I see a stranger there. Judy, Judy, watch out for her cutie. Who's that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. What was it like living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things. Technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told, uh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Temperamental, huh? Uh, that explains a lot. Dominant family trait? <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. Still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. We're looking for anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. Feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Mmm. Bottled water? <laughs> touché, Judy, touché. I gotta say, don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. It's good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. This isn't yours? Poor thing. Been here all so it is yours. No. It was Jenny Chapman's. You took her doll? As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? Why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys, and nothing else. Wanna see what's further on? Come on, then. Wanna show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels, swimming through here. Where you used to run, as a kid. Where daily life grinded along. Can imagine it a bit. from outer space. Bells were cracked too. Gave off this eerie, atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that second ago. Now I can almost hear them. Don't know how 
how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously, you can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah, closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. You like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. Found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. Read me worse than worse. Huh? I read you loud and clear. Everything all right? to lift me out. Don't know. Didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful. Easy now. <laughs> so, you're saying you saved my life. <laughs> Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You? Heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a mm, complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. Must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Black, please. Like the heart of a merc. Ah, forgot to start the generator. A generator. What's next? Jacuzzi? <laughs> Finnish sauna? No, but there is running water. I could turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. Think you could have fine-tuned the emotive wave transmitters better back there. Got some serious surges from you a few times.
Power's up. Your little spa is open for business. So be careful. Of course I will be. Of course I will be. Of course I will be. What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. You thinking about Evelyn? Cloud says, gone to shit. Tiger Claw no next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. I didn't want to tell you. Wanted this to be just our day. I it is ours. It. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. So. Yesterday. What was that exactly? Don't remember, or you want me to remind you? You know exactly what I'm trying to say. What did it mean? Like, to you? I think it, I mean, I hope it was the beginning of something nice. Unless you see things differently. Ugh, it can be such a gonk sometimes. 
ruined my plans, you know that. Was gonna leave Night City in the dust for good. Even started packing. But now I think, I think I gotta stay. Ah, oh, well, guess I'll have to make it up to you, won't I? Hmm, yeah, that would be appropriate. Give me your hand, V. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa, uh, asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. You sure? Isn't exactly a small thing, this. I like you. I want to see you lots. The way I see it, there isn't anything else to consider. Wanna go there now? You can if you want. Gonna stick around for a bit before I head back. See ya, Judy.
This elevator is out of order. Sorry. Out of order for Carrie Uridine's guests, too? He's expecting me. In that case, enjoy your evening. to meet someone. Walking in Memphis, off Beale, ages ago. Hey. He's got preem stuff. Might be interested. Give you a friends and family discount, too. Of course, Mr. Uridine. Special rate for your friends. Let's see what you got. Ah, you can talk this later. Come with me. I want to show you something. Later, Spectre. A little empty in here. Close today. Wanted some peace and quiet. Speaking of, what's up with us cracks? Can't go near them, so what? Hit on Kovacek? <laughs> Very funny. But, yeah. Not about to let him get away with it. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But the bastard's gonna regret making me sign those papers. Guess Kovacek's got you wrapped around his little finger. See, I thought he was representing me, not the label. Fuck, was I wrong? Nothing you can do about it? I could wipe him. Other than that, nada. In the corpse pocket, won't cross him. And the corpse got the rights to my songs, my lyrics. Fuck. If they ever want to plaster my face on baby helmets, they can. But hey, fresh of fame, right? You try to get out of that deal with the label? Ah, let's be real. Say I break contract. Then what? Who's gonna release my new tracks? Who's gonna deal with distribution, promotion, influencers, media? Labels have got them all in their pockets. You're out with them, you're out, period. You'd be free. Seriously? Free to sing until you're blue in the face? Nobody hearing a thing? It's just another kind of cage. Show you one of my favorite spots in Night City. Don't come here often, but when I do, it's important. Should I feel special? Don't let it go to your head. Told him to shut the place down for the day. <sighs> Can't get enough of this view. Love looking at this city from above. Well, only place you fall asleep thinking you're special than wake up knowing you're no one. Glad we get this moment to ourselves. Mm hmm. Brought you here because I wanted to talk with someone outside that whole shit show downstairs. What's up? 
Thought the whole us cracks thing was me being afraid. Of being exposed. Of people finally seeing me as another piece of merch. Another cog in the corporal machine. Sell out Uridine. Show an Asian pop starlet's a good time for cash, fame, and a chance to remind people he's still fucking alive. No truth to that? There is. But that's not what's important. The real problem's deeper. Way deeper. Talk to me. See, thought I was afraid everybody think me another corpo slave. And I was just afraid I'd be in someone's shadow again. Again? Lived in Johnny's for years. Part of the scenery, machinery. Helping him shine brighter. Never believed I'd make it on my own without Silverhand. That why he left Samurai. Fuck. Johnny figured you'd chickened out. Couldn't take the pressure, so you left Samurai. Yeah, I know. But he was wrong. Decided to start fighting for myself. Still keeping that up. Night City's the city of shadows. Done everything I could to walk clear of them for years. Fuck. Time you stop being afraid. Don't need to be. Think it's that simple? I'll even protect you from yourself. Fuck. Sorry, V. I like you lots, but we... this ain't going anywhere. Ah. Uh, oh. Um, no worries. Sorry. Never mind. Thanks, though. For everything. Uh, I'm gonna stay up here a sec longer. You go ahead. Downstairs. Drink to this city. And to me in it. Okay. See ya. Explode out of love. The cult of music is a corporate war. Back in theaters near you. Blind?
This is Jillian Jordan with an N54 News Campaign update. Exit polls for the Knight City mayoral race have finally been tallied. Incumbent Weldon Holt of the Devolutionist Party received 47.8% of the vote, despite allegations of his complicity in the murder of Lucius Ryan, former mayor of the city. But in a close race, Federalist candidate Jefferson Perales still sees the Who do I spy? A happy new gun owner, I... Nope. Oh.